Hello, this is Jim from Tech Buzz, and we're going to have a quick video review today of the NUU 4X X4 mobile. Uh, and this device is going to cost you around 170 quid, which isn't bad. Build quality on this phone is excellent. Um, as we've seen in the unboxing, it's solid metal all around, apart from the back. And uh, the back is a plastic case, which is a bit cheap looking, but when you consider on how good the rest of the phone looks you know i wouldn't let it bother me so much but for the price you're paying it's 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 excellent and um, so it's quite cool so what we get is um we're getting a basic experience of android here it's clean enough um it's basic android here and it's pretty much more or less stock and it's, it seems to be quick enough in most instances and yeah, quite happy with that. Uh, I did find it laggy from time to time, but nonetheless, as I said, for the price you're paying, but you're, as I said, you're getting the older Android and then some of the older chipsets inside as well. So we do have our basic setup and features and we have all the usual settings we would expect to find. And we have a setting called Hot Knot, which is basically layman's terms, a cheap version of NFC. You have SIM cards option here, and um, then our typical VPN, Tether, and Hotspots, and so on. Display settings again, all typical. And we have Daydream as well here on this, and you can cast your screen. Um, storage you can expand, and um, there's plenty of storage too, and of course you can expand up to 32. You have smart wake and air gestures, so you can type, you can just draw a letter on the screen, whichever you assign to it, um, to open the phone, which is pretty cool. And you have a scheduled power on and off, which is pretty cool as well. Um, into apps and so on, if you're a VR user, you will be running into problems. It doesn't even support the Google Cardboard app. And... I found that pretty bad, um, but you can still watch videos uh, if you like, but I'll just show you what happens here. If you go to use one, it doesn't support cardboard. So, again, if you're a VR user, it's something to keep in mind. Um, social media. Um, I aim this device at people are just looking for basic phone to do the basic things, not a power user, so... Overall, if you're look, just looking for something simple to browse the web, emails and social media, perfectly fine. So if you have your social media apps there, you can see they are kind of a bit slow to open. Um, but overall, it's not too bad. So it's been fine in the, in the most um, using it over the last couple of days. And it's not bad, but you will notice some lag, lag at times. Um, mm -hmm. We'll go on to YouTube, um, you can see again there that was pretty s slow, just at that instance openness, but um, if you want to, for example, listen to the speaker quality, and um, we we'll look at the video Jim, quality. Buzz, I'm looking at another case today from... And the uh, video quality isn't bad, accessories. and, this time and the speaker is also Google not bad, but... If you have the speaker up a full volume, I found it to get a bit on the tinny side, but you know that depends on how loud you like to listen to stuff. But overall, not bad. Um, one thing I did find I don't know whether it's this just a, this particular unit I have here, this power button is very, very stiff, um, which is kind of annoying. And I'm not sure if anyone else has had that problem, but it's something to have to check out myself but i didn't like that it was a bit on the stiff side Um, the volume key is not perfectly fine and i was happy enough in that department the camera isn't bad either and um, it's much better using the hdr mode but you do have a lot of settings to play around with so you have gps exposure screen mode white balance and so on anti-flicker and um, then we can expand the settings then and of course we have video as well and um, not bad but it's just basic settings really and you've of course panoramic in there too and 
you know overall it's not a bad camera um but there's a major difference between hdr and non hdr uh, on taking images so um you can kind of judge for yourself and we'll just try a quick video here and we didn't get that on property but um it's not bad um as i said it's nothing it's not fantastic but the qu picture quality is quite good but um i'd suggest using hdr um because it'll give you a better picture and there's a couple of phones that are actually like that today that give a better just point and shoot photograph and the google pixel be a prime example of that and you know Depends how much of a, a photo fan you are. There's a lot of these out there with mobiles that just like to take pictures all day long. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them, but I'll take pictures every now and then. But the camera isn't bad at all. Um, everything else, quite fine. Um, you know, it, overall, it was pretty good. Um, the only kind of niggles I had is the plastic back, the power button here, and, you know, the like that pops in every now and then and as i said the vr and um, if you're into the vr that might be something for you to think about everything else is much more or less stock Um, if we can try and get this to come up as you can see there now it's not just it's not reacting at all but you know that happens sometimes so everything else that you see here you have a file manager you have a camera calendar calculator clock everything you expect to find with stock and um, your fm radio gallery your gmail and maps and so on and then your list will populate here as you download apps so and you have a sim tool kit here too and music photos play games and maybe all google services are on board but overall it's not a bad phone Um, i'd recommend it for someone just looking for something cheap to start off with um as i said the quality is is quite good on the device and um, the build quality is excellent apart from this back cover here and you know everything else is just above par Um, you know consider the other phones that are in this price range Um, it's not a bad deal at all 170 quid Um, i'd recommend it no problem Um, but yeah look around there's always other devices out there but uh, this is a uh, first time to try one of these phones and i look forward to trying a higher end um i'm pretty impressed with this i'd use it myself um just for social as a second phone perhaps um for social media browsing and anything like that is perfectly fine you know it'll do the job and people will be happy with it so that's really about it um as i said it's not a phone you're going to splash a lot of money on so don't expect to get super high-end speed and the rest of it all comes with, with say we, we we're using the google pixel at the moment and speed wise it's not as fast nowhere near it but as i said just for the normal user fire away and check it out uh, any questions get me a type of Zoyland, and i'll talk to you in the next one